we're going to have a look at the final design so this is the last or the second to last sorry part of your design section so you should have now had your first concepts which were in your research section then your design development and that all leads up to your final design so what should have happened in your design section is you've sort of seen the journey to how you're getting to your final idea what you can't do is either one have your first concept and you said right that's the one I want to make and you kept it exactly the same all the way through and what you can't do as well is you've had some ideas and then your fan design is just something completely different the examiners need to see this whole journey of you've done some development you've done some modeling you've done some research and they can see a clear path to how you've gotten to the final design that you've got okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk through a couple of things you need to have on your final design and I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So first of all, there's a few things you must include. So it must have an orthographic drawing. Now this is sometimes called the working drawing. So that is the 2D drawing where it shows you your front, side, back and top. The next thing you need to have is a 3D sketch or drawing. So this can either be on CAD or it can be hand drawn, it's up to you. You need to make sure you've got your client's opinions on the design. Like with your design development, it needs to be linked back to your specification and your brief. You need to talk about what materials and construction methods you're going to use. Now, you need to be specific now. What you can't say is, I've not decided yet now for your final design. You need to be deciding, okay, what joining methods are you using to join those two parts together? What materials are you using? What tools? that needs to be done so you need to be very what you can't just say is I'll figure it out as I'm going along now is the right this is the plan this is what I'm doing along with that is where you need to have the exact measurements decided so you can't just say I'm not sure yet you need to pl plan out and be planning out now how big the whole thing is going to be so obviously if you are someone doing an architectural project obviously it's going to be scaled down you should have already researched the scalings that happen with models if you're doing furniture you'll have to scale it down as well so typically like a third or a half of the size it then also needs to be linked back to your research and in order to get top top marks you need to have an exploded drawing as well so that is the drawing that shows you all the different components separately now the easiest way to do that is with CAD or something like Fusion 360 so when I said that before you need a 3D sketch and it could be hand drawn or it could be CAD it's up to you if you did a final design on CAD you could then easily make it do an orthographic drawing, do your exploded drawing for you. So you'd only have to draw it once, but then on the software you can make it do your orthographic and you can make it do your exploded. So it makes your life quite a bit easier. So that's everything that needs to be on the final design. I'm going to show you a couple of examples and just talk you through them as well. So this is obviously I'm not allowed to give you a template, but this is sort of like just showing you how to kind of lay out what you're going to need. So the key thing obviously is that orthographic drawing with measurements I said probably to scale so we've talked a little bit about scale already your 3D representation and then links to specification and brief client's opinion and then materials construction methods and how they're going to be included so for example so we've got a first one which was an architectural based one so they did do the, theirs on CAD so they've got their final concept drawn they have then analysed talk about all the materials they're going to be used and linked to their research. They've then got their orthographic drawing, which have all their measurements on there as well. And then what is good as well, if you've got the skills, is they've then used Photoshop and they've put it into the in the like location of where it would go. So this second one, so they've done theirs by hand for the actual 3D drawing itself. They've done done, done the orthographic on the computer the one thing they haven't got which they did lose marks for was their measurements they said to be determined they actually did lose marks for that so that's why I put this in there to show you so you may think this looks like quite a good final concept because when they did the analysis it was a really good analysis comparison to specification but because they didn't have the measurements there he was already limited to what marks he could get now what this is, is, is something someone did last year which I thought was a really, really good idea because again it shows the examiner how you've developed it. So basically on the left hand side on this timeline they show the first concept and then just on a little timeline shows all the developments going through of how they got all the reincarnations up until they got to the final 
concept. So it's a really good idea just to show you the timeline showing how you've gotten from your first concept all the way through to the one that you're finally going to do. Now this isn't something that I've encouraged before because I'd never really thought about it but I did see it in someone's and they got full marks and I thought it was a really good idea so it could be something if you've got it all done on CAD or you've got your drawing scanned in it's not something that takes long to do but it'd be a really good idea. And then for that one obviously they've got that orthographic drawing and as you see they've got all their measurements and everything included which is the key thing for having your orthographic done. So that is, as I said, it's the second to last thing you design development section because the last thing we'll do is your manufacture plan but that is your final design. If you've got any questions about what to include or if you're still stuck on certain things, if you send me an email and I'll either one, try and just send you a message personally or two, I will make a video. If it's something that a lot of people ask, I'll make another video for it as well.